So this is uh, a very common question that people ask on the community and uh, not just on the community but uh, people who are new to Jira. They want to know how to manage your dependencies. Now in any project management tool there is a concept of dependencies. I mean um, not just tool, it's tool but uh, if we talk about uh, planning something where you need to do let us say 10 activities, 10 tasks. The tasks are also dependent on each other and they can be dependencies. For example, if you're waiting for something from someone, so that is a dependency. If you don't get that particular thing delivered by time or on time, you uh, you will or you might not be able to start the work. And in Jira, there is no such concept of dependencies, uh, but there is a concept of linking and this is actually managed using uh, issue links. This is again a very common question and uh, I thought I'll probably talk about it today as well because if you're using a tool like Jira, you will expect it to uh, do things like dependencies, like uh, plan the work based on those dependencies. But without using, let us say, an advanced roadmap plan or uh, any other app like Big Picture, for example, it is a bit difficult to use those dependencies uh, in your plan. And when, when I say plan, I'm talking about uh, it could be the work that you have to do for a specific sprint or it could be maybe the plan that you are creating in advanced roadmaps. And uh, what I'm trying to, to share today is that Jira by itself will not uh, uh, handle the dependencies for you. I mean, of course, you can uh, link two issues together. And when you create a link, you have the option to define and use the type of the link and also the direction. For example, if you link one issue, which is dependent on other issue, you can actually create a link to that dependent issue. And uh, when you're creating a link, you have to basically specify whether this particular issue is uh, blocking the, the other issue or uh, maybe blocked by the other issue. So this direction is also, also very important. But apart from this link, Jira will not do anything uh, more than showing you that link on the issue. However, you can use this link to do automation. You can use this link to create a plan based on these uh, linking. And if you're using advanced roadmaps, then uh, advanced roadmaps can actually, you can actually tell advanced roadmaps that uh, my dependencies are managed by using a link type called blocks and when you are uh, when you have those dependencies when you have those issue links then advanced roadmaps can do some planning for you uh, because if you're waiting for something from another team that particular task will be probably scheduled before on the timeline uh, but the short answer is that you have to use uh, issue links in case you are uh, trying to manage dependencies but you have you also have to rely, rely on other tools or maybe a bit of automation and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much